are you ready hit that subscribe button join our growing family do forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a moment thank you and see you in my videos bye, -bye. hi everyone welcome back to Yumika's diaries in this video i'll be showing you how to make a fake background like this one the first thing you want to do is go to google.com and type in leonardo hey hi and then click on the first one this one and it takes you to this page you create an account i'm using my google but you can choose to use your email and create a password but i'm using my google um, account that already exists so the next thing to do is to type in a username and i will just be using this one yumika diaries i mean you can't use um space so you you can use underscore to separate um two words from each other and um, it validates this and to see if it's available I'll also click on fashion to specify my interest, but you can click on stock images if you don't have anyone in, part, in mind. And then I'll go on to click on confirming that I'm over 18 and click on the next button. It takes me to this page and the first one is image generation. I'll be clicking on image generation. Bear in mind that you have 150 credits for each 24 hours. So I'll go ahead and type my desire, which is to design a youtube wall youtube wall that contains clothing rack dresser and mirror just do your best to describe um, your desire what you want to see in the background of the youtube wall and click on generate and this test it tells me that this takes its tokens and then it goes ahead to generate the image or images so i'll scroll down and then the images should come up shortly so these are the images i have in mind and i'll go ahead to pick one of them that suits my video style I'll go on to pick this last one and then I'll click on the download button and then save on my phone and we've completed one step in three the second step is to go to Canva and click on the upload button this plus button and then I'll type in YouTube thumbnail but because i use this quite often it's already on my suggested list so i'll just click on hit and it takes me to this page scroll down to the bottom and click on this plus button and then scroll down to the bottom as well and scroll to your right and click on upload files it takes you to this place scroll up and you can click on upload files and click on photo library or whatever is on your phone and it uploads then click on the picture and it pops up like this and what you want to do here is to enlarge this or crop or do whatever you want to do play around this till it gives you the desired interface or the desired look so i'll be going with this and thereafter i'll click on the save button and save this on my phone so step two has been completed the next thing is to open CapCut, click on new project and add the photo we just downloaded thereafter go ahead to click on overlay add overlay and add the video clips you would want in your video select all of them and click on add yes so this is what it looks like so what you see me do here is I'm, I clicked on my video and I'm going to split, cut, and then delete whatever I don't want in the video. And I'll move it closer to have um, a video that 
flows well and uh, and to have my video in the form that i desire thereafter i'll click on the photo and drag it to the end of my video of my edited video i'll then go back to my first video clip and click on it then go to my toolbar at the bottom of the page scroll to cut out click on cut out remove background and the background has been removed so zoom in or zoom out on your picture to get the desired um, look on the screen and thereafter to get the blurry effect on my background photo i'm going to click on my background photo and scroll down on the toolbar to opacity drag to zero for totally dark one which nobody wants and drag to the middle or anywhere till you get your desired blurry effect thereafter i'm going to click on my video and adjust normally as i would edit my other videos my brightness or any other one click on apply hold finish your editing here and click that mark to save it go ahead to do other to make other adjustments like this is me adding other overlay to add the subscribe button i'll go to desired duration in the video and then click on stickers on my toolbar and type in subscribe or whatever it is you can type in excited you can type in anything click select the preferred sticker click on cancel click on the mark button and then drag and resize as desired then i'll click on the sticker and go to animation and then i'll go to loop and select my desired effect and then um, adjust the speed maybe i want it slower or faster this video is actually my youtube trailer you can check it out to see the whole outlook for other stickers like my notification bell my excited um sticker or emoji i'll do the same by going to stickers and type in my um desired sticker that i'm looking out for and i'm using subscribe for this because there's a button there's a sticker rather that matches what i'm trying to describe which is notification bell so i'm using this one and i'm selecting loop as well and selecting the desired um effect or animation i would want to see and adjust the speed just to chip in you can also select effect in the toolbar video effects and type in blur to see pre-existing templates of blurry blurry effects on CapCut. but the method i've shared is what i found to be the most easiest and it allows me to um, create a blurry effect that suits my preference lastly i'll click on audio and click on auto captions and i'll select from video to create to generate my captions ready hit that subscribe button join our growing family don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a moment if you found this video useful please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel more amazing content are coming your way. See you in my next one. Bye.